Yes. We back. Almost that time of the show where we're just out of here. Unfortunately, we wish we could stay on air all day, every day. But yeah, you know I mean, maybe maybe a petition will come out one day for us to be on air every day. We but can get paid we until pay. we just conquer in the days and everything in between. You feel me? Facts, AJ man. is still with us. We just played a couple cuts off of his project Days and Nights. Of course, that's streaming everywhere. So go check that out. Days, D-A-Y-Z-E, Nights, K-N-I-G-H-T-S. You know my spelling a little suspect. But just search up A-J-A-J-J-A-Y, and you're going to see that man's album pop up on Apple Music for sure, man. Go check that out. But right now, this is the spot of the show where we spotlight AJ and everything he's got going on. Yes. Of course, that project came out, what, three weeks ago? Three, about three, yeah, about three weeks ago now. And now it's just, it's just catching momentum right now. Just, just making this way. Yeah, just making this way around. Yeah. The video is going to be on the way, I'm sure, soon. Everything uh, going to be Two videos are out right now. One for Freedom Papers and one for Cicadas. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Got go peace. check those out. Yeah. So we're going to be talking about some details about the album right now. So Let's one thing I'm curious about is how you came upon the Days and Nights concept and like how you came across that as the title for it. You know what I mean? Um. Well... For those who don't know, I've uh, I haven't put out new music in a in a long time, at least for me, right? Almost two and a half years, and um, it was kind of days and nights was kind of play off that, like just the time it took. You know what I mean, like you know, it literally took me days and nights to make it. And then um, as far as the spelling and the, and the play on words, it was more just like, um, you know, all the concepts that I'm trying to convey, all the feelings I'm trying to convey. It was, um, you know, the days to me kind of represents like the dreams and the ambitions, you know sure. what I mean? And like the all the airy, pleasant stuff, you know what I mean? And then the nights too, it's like all that gritty hard work that it takes. And then I spelled it nights too, because you know what I mean? It's, it's about it's about staying true through through whatever you're going through, you know what I mean? And through that mm-hmm. time, like a, a lot of times through that time period, I was discouraged, you know what I mean? I didn't feel like I was gonna finish it the way I wanted to finish it. I didn't think th- things were gonna turn out the way they did. But um, you know, it's, it's about sticking to your code, for real. So, days right. and nights. Coming through and showing your true colors to say the least the production is crazy yeah i mean you definitely show that balance i feel like to me it's like that 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 balance of you know i mean the 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 light side and the Mm -hmm. dark side literally Mm -hmm. you know i mean i see that throughout the project there's a strong message to me about that um and as well as just every you you got it as far as stacy's bumped your music before but this is my first project Mm -hmm. digesting your music and I definitely enjoyed it. You know what I mean? Definitely. Appreciate you. Definitely would bump the next one. You know what I mean? Thanks. You got me looking to, like, what's next for AJ? You know what I mean? That's that's always a good thing. You know what I mean? What is the next move? As you said on your earlier when we played Maintain, same thing, the intro, you were like, that was the point of the intro. You know what I mean? So everything about the project seemed very calculated. and very. You know what I mean? Very. You spent time, put time into it. A lot of people don't do that as much, especially with, you know what I mean? It's easy to just get in the booth mm-hmm. and just spit spit a couple 16s and put it out as a project. You know definitely, what I mean? Definitely. So, so I mean, what AT saying, you know, I've listened to your music in the past. I listened to you since probably your first project, Boy Meets World, yeah. back, you know, like what, sophomore year? Yeah, like, back in the geez. day, man. Like, I remember listening to it, man. I remember critiquing, I remember talking to you about yeah, it afterwards. I remember you dropping new music after it, it and you progressing, you mm-hmm. progressing, you know what I'm saying? So, I want to talk about what kind of progress you feel after dropping this project, like you said, it's been two and a half years. It's been a minute you dropped music and you've been working, like you said. Sure. Um, how do you feel about that progress? And was there anything specifically that you did differently or this time around when dropping the project? Um, you know, I think I think the more you do anything, the better you get at it, especially when it's something you're passionate about, something you put a lot of time into. True. Um, I, I worked at my craft, bro. Like, you know what I mean? I feel like everything about this project was better than the last one. You know what I mean? As far as the beat selection, the type of songs I picked, even the people I worked with, it was better experiences. I was more comfortable doing what I was doing. You know what I mean? Word, and it's word. like, just what I learned about myself, you know what I mean? The more understanding of myself and like what I'm capable of doing and the vibes I'm trying to push to people. You know what I mean? It was less about what people outside was doing and trying to keep up with them and more about me growing internally. That's, I like, real. that's real. That's a beautiful place to be, man. For sure. That's what it's about. We all try to seek that place, you know what I mean, where external things don't have too much influence on us. You know what I mean? As we say here, distort us in the days to say the least we don't ever want to be too distorted you know mm-hmm. what i mean there's plenty of these distortions out there especially from external factors we got to just 
find everything inside and find it internally as right. you just said man Damn. now did you do you have any specific goals for this project particularly anything you want to accomplish specifically the main goal honestly was finishing it and uh getting it out there <laughs> sharing it with the world this out you know it's just like um you know i a, a big thing for me is like the way people react to my music because of the other of how personal it is, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I just wanted to touch as many people and for it to mean as many people, mean something to as many people as it does to me, you know what I mean? Like, sure. I know, um, like a lot of these songs I have for like a while because of, just because of how long it took. Like, mm -hmm. I remember one particular performance out in, out, out in Akron actually at the Vortex, um, there was a young lady I had performed users for like the first time, you know what I'm saying? And like, she just like, she waited for my set to be done. She approached me afterwards and told me like, Yo, like, I just really want you to know, like, your music, like, really made me feel a way, and, you know, it was really, like, that's it was right. real, and, you know what I mean? It, I, I, basically, I felt something, you know what I mean? So, that's it was, dope, like, that was the, it's the most rewarding thing, bro, when, like, people connect to you, and, you know what I mean? Like, it, it, it low-key validates, you know what I mean, like, the time you put in. For sure. Work. Yeah, all the sure. grinding. That yeah. appreciation, you know I agree. What I, mean? I agree. Powerful yeah. things. Powerful, Definitely. man. Thank you for coming on the show, yes. bro. Oh, you are right.